Federal Trade Commission has uh, just voted on non-compete clauses, and Eamon Javers has the important details. Eamon. Tyler, that's right. The vote happened just moments ago, and the measure passed by a margin of three to two. Now, this is what they call a proposed final rule that would, in effect, ban most businesses from using non-compete clauses uh, in hiring. Uh, this is a measure that's been under discussion at the FTC for a while. The FTC has now just passed this. It will potentially make significant changes in the way American business relates to American workers, Tyler. The measure won't go into effect immediately. There is a period of time of about 180 days uh, where this has to be worked through the process. But this was the approval now by the FTC for this massive regulatory change in American life. They're saying that under the new rule, uh, new non-compete non clauses uh, will be banned for lower level employees uh, and for higher level employees, what they're calling senior executives, existing non-compete clauses will still be allowed. However, for the rest of us who are not non who are not senior executives, non-compete clauses uh, that are in effect now will be unenforceable once this measure finally does go through. Tyler, back over to you. So, in the future, if I'm one of those highly compensated, highly uh, status uh, executives, can my employer write a non-compete clause into a new contract or not? In in the future, under this rule, uh, non-compete clauses will be allowed for senior executives, but uh, below that level, and they're saying 99 percent of Americans uh, will not be allowed to have non-compete clauses. That is, businesses cannot impose non-compete clauses in contracts with new hires. And for those people who have non-compete clauses right now in their contracts, and it's probably a lot of people who are watching this on television, uh, those non-compete clauses that exist now will be unenforceable uh, once this measure uh, finally does take place. So uh, this is a significant change, Tyler. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been sweeping. The, the argument for it is that about one in five Americans have a non-compete clause. Uh, that's a huge number. Maybe 30 million Americans are impacted. The FTC argues that that hurts new business formation, it hurts innovation, uh, and it hurts the workers. 30 could, million people. It's a broad It could really people. be uh, important in the technology world, I would think, among other places. Financial services yeah. as well. Eamon, thanks so much.